I got a quick tip for you that's really gonna change things up for you. I know I say that a lot, but in the end, we've got a lot of tips that really change things up for you. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out the website. Okay, this tip is in regards to bruising of the forearm, pressure of the forearm. It's all to do with how you hold the kettlebell. Kettlebell grips, which is one of the main things that we start with when we teach people how to work with the kettlebell. Check out Master Kettlebell Grips, free PDF. That alone will help you and bring you to the next level. But let's get back to the bruising. This is uh, a main issue that a lot of people have, beginners, but even people that have been using the bell for a long time. It occurs uh, during presses, windmills, anytime you're holding the bell overhead, chest presses, etc. It's all to do with how the weight is resting on your forearm. So, this is the, the main issue right here. Right now, this bell, the bell handle, horn, corner, the bell is resting on the forearm. What you want to do is get a good hand insert right there into the top corner right here on the webbing between your thumb and your index finger. The handle is 45 degrees right there. Okay, let's see if you can see this. This part of the bell is now on this side. My arm is basically going from here to here, through this way. From here, through this way, right there. Right then from here to here, right there. So let's see. So when it, there's pressure, it's because your arm is going from here to here in this way. To alleviate the pressure, you want to go here diagonally. Okay, so check out uh, the article that I'll link to below and I'll talk more about this and show you some diagrams. But the main thing to keep in mind is that there's pressure on your forearm because the grip is incorrect. You're holding it in the middle. Your forearm is in the middle of the bell, but it should be right here. That's it. Here's the difference. And now it's on the forearm. So it's grip. Um, I know this video is not the best. I, I'm, I've got limited space. So make sure that you check out that PDF that I referred to and check out the link. So that PDF will also be on that link and on that link I'll show some diagrams and write more about this. But guaranteed you can alleviate a lot of forearm bruising with the correct technique, with the correct grip. Now if you want to teach others all these awesome tips and find little details that you won't find in many other places. We cover the basics, the fundamentals. We build people up. So we've got courses online. Uh, anybody can take them, even if you don't intend to be a trainer. But you can also get your certification. Either way, you're getting an extensive amount of knowledge. You are going to be able to train injury-free, efficiently, and progress build yourself up properly if you're not interested in uh, a course then check out the book kettlebell training fundamentals on www.kettlebelltraining.com forward slash shop also on amazon.com and the other book uh, that's vital is uh, preventing kettlebell training injuries uh, things that i just covered i covered in there as well but a whole lot more so blisters avoiding blisters gripping your hands avoiding bruising uh, avoiding uh, tendonitis avoiding wrist injuries and so much more back pain etc that's it for now see you in the next video